Marcella and welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm preparing a fantastic dessert buffet for a dinner party or just because and this is what I'm going to work on today. Now this is all done using one universal thing, my Nutella mascarpone mousse and I'm going to show you how you can do so many things with it. So let's put this aside and let's get started. For my mousse, I'm going to use half a container of mascarpone cheese and this is a really light Italian cheese that can either go both ways, it could be savory, it could be sweet, it's used a lot in desserts like tiramisu, but I'm going to use it with Nutella because it's combining two of my favorite things. I'm going to take an entire jar of Nutella here, don't be afraid. Nutella is one of my favorite things from when I was a kid. I used to go to school with sandwiches full of Nutella. Ugh, just eat it with a spoon. That is amazing. It takes a little bit of work to get it all out of the jar. You want to make sure you use the entire jar because the Nutella is going to be our sweetness in this recipe. We're not adding any sugar to our mousse. So we got all our Nutella in there. Just going to lock down our KitchenAid stand mixer. Literally two seconds, everything's going to be creamed together and combined. Fabulous! Look at this. Isn't that beautiful? This is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. So I'm going to let this mousse hang out for a little bit while I make my whipped cream. And we're going to make some fresh whipped cream today. I think it's so much better than using whipped cream from a can. We're just going to start with a pint of heavy whipping cream. I'm going to add a quarter cup of sugar. And I'm going to take a hand mixer and I'm going to start beating this on a low speed and then we're going to gradually increase it. This is so our cream stays in that nice thick whipped form for a long time. If you just go into it full force, it's gonna get real puffy first and then it's gonna fizz out. Once we see it start to thicken up just a little bit, we're gonna crank up the speed and we're gonna finish it out until we get a nice stiff peak. Now a stiff peak is when you can pull your beater out of your whipped cream and you get a peak that stands straight up. It doesn't fold over, it doesn't lie down, it doesn't play fetch, it just stands right there. Let's see if we have a stiff peak yet. Looks good to me. Just gonna take out our beaters. Don't wanna waste any whipped cream. So I am ready to start making our fruit tarts. So I'm gonna use a store-bought graham cracker crust. These are great, they eliminate so much work because who has time to make 800 little mini crusts like this? How great are these? Set this right here. And to fill this, I'm gonna use my little MacGyver style pastry bag. And this is just a plain Ziploc bag. You could certainly use one of those great reusable pastry bags that you can wash out, but these are so hassle-free. Everybody has plain Ziploc bags in their house. It just makes everything so much easier. I love an easy dessert. Just spoon as much as you can in so you don't have to keep refilling it. Get some off your paddle. Okay. Good. So you want to seal this with the zipper seal and just make sure you leave about an inch of space open so it has enough air to push all your mousse through. Now I'm just going to cut one of the corners with a scissor. So we have a nice small hole to work with and we can pipe our mousse in. 
and you just want to go around the base like so make a little swirly design I'm going to do something a little bit higher and don't fill it up too much because you're going to add some fresh whipped cream on top of here and then your berries will fall off if it's too full. So we're going to grab a spatula and I'm going to add some of our fresh whipped cream. And just make sure you cover everything. That looks incredible already. And there you go. And now this is my favorite part. We're gonna have to decorate these just a little bit. And I have some fresh berries. You can use any kind of berries you want, whatever's in season. I like to use a red and a blue just to get a little bit of contrast. And these are great for kids to do. Kids love to decorate dessert. Personally, I like to invite my guests over and make them work in the kitchen. You know, they have to do something. So it's great to finish these off right before a dinner party. And I'm just gonna go around here and make a little circle design. Doesn't that look great? I'm gonna add it to our plate here. And I know what you're thinking. You just finished a beautiful dessert, but you have all this mousse left. What is one to do? Well, I'll tell you what you should do. You should get some store-bought cannoli shells because these are great that you could just go in right here and just pipe in our mousse. And doesn't that look fantastic? Everyone is gonna ask you where you bought these cannolis. And if you want another idea of what you could do with the rest of this mousse, simplest thing ever, cupcakes. I'm just gonna use a store-bought cupcake mix, and this is a banana cupcake mix. Banana, the chocolate, I mean, it's a beautiful thing. And what's all the rage now is a stuffed cupcake, and I'm gonna show you how you can get a stuffed cupcake. Easiest thing. I have right here an apple core. You can get this at any kind of kitchen supply store. We're just gonna go right dead center, twist, and it pulls out a perfect section of cupcake. Now you're just gonna take your mousse and fill the center. And now we're gonna frost the top of the cupcake and no one will be able to tell until they get that big surprise when they bite into it. Just go straight around. I'm gonna get another spatula. I just wanna smooth it out just a little bit. Oh, this was so easy. Swoop. Perfect. I'm gonna add this to our dessert platter and look at this gorgeous dessert buffet I've put together. I have some eating to do. So I'm gonna go take a break and I'll see you guys later. Go make some stuff, bye. I just finished frosting some amazing cupcakes and normally I'd be using a lovely postmodern plate for this dessert, but today I'm using a special plate from KitchenAid's Cook for the Cure initiative. All you have to do is buy the plate, register it online and fill it with your favorite treats and then pass it on to your friends and family so they can do the same. Each time a plate is registered and passed, KitchenAid will donate $5 for the Komen for the Cure Foundation. It's a great way to spread the love and it's only 25 bucks, so don't cheap out. So I'm gonna take this and pass it to my nonna Romana, who's gonna pass it to all her friends who have all the time in the world to bake. Oh, thank you very you. much. I love You're that. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> Mm. You're my beautiful granddaughter. <laughs> You're so nice. 
Go to shopkitchenaid.com, pick up a plate, and start passing for the cure.